My name is Manuel Torero Gonzalez. I'm from Morelia, Mexico. Well, when I was 18, I came to the United States. I traveled here because in Mexico it was super hard. It was difficult to find a job. And we were quite desperate. We wanted to find work. So uh, we uh, and a couple of people, me and my cousin and a couple of people, we just jump in a bus and uh, trying to make it here to the United States to try to find a better life. So it was very scary because I remember the ride was like oh, at least uh, two days. Two days it was super hot, very, very hot. We was hungry, sweaty, and we didn't even know where we're going because we was nervous. We just wanted to get out. So I thought we arrived to Tijuana. I was worried because everybody tells so many stories about uh, the coyotes rob people, and and we didn't know nobody over there. So it was funny when I the coyote who came pick us up. I knew him. I say, Hector, ¿qué está pasando? He remember me. Like we start talking about our hometown, and then he decided to help us out. So he put me in a hotel. And, you know, um, I was nervous. I couldn't sleep that night. I was scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. And um, around 3 o'clock in the morning, they come and wake us up. So they tell us it's the time to go because the border patrol is having a, a, a change in shift. I didn't even understand what that is. So they told, I jumped like my life was dependent on it. And then we crawled to, to do it. And then we worked nine hours. Or more with without no food no water but we were determined to make it the nine hours walk was hard through snakes and cactus but no food no chipotle <laughs> but uh, when we arrived arrived to a meeting point he had a smaller car waiting for us and eight of us had to be fit into this car the first few years I live in Salinas, California. My first job I got it as a strawberry picker. And I live up in the mountain um, under a tree, me and my two friends. I didn't shower for a week because the water was so cold. I live in fear for a couple of years until I have my green card. Um, it, it was quite brutal because they used to pick us up and put us on a bus and send us back to Mexico. I was one of the lucky ones to receive uh, my uh, green card under the Amnesia Act under um, Ronald Reagan um, for all the illegal immigrants who arrived before 1986. We received it in 1988. And now I live um, in Lodi I'm married to a Danish woman that I met while I was working over there 20 years ago. And I have three children and they all went to UCLA. I'm so happy I came here for a better life.